So, <clears throat> I've been messing around and I have made a Lab Windows interface to an Arduino with an LCD shield. What we see here is the quit button, connect button, I can control four digital outs, I can control the LCD, I can control the LCD brightness. And these are indicators of ADC second input channel and these are the buttons on the shield that um, are also run off of an ADC. So let's start this up. And what you see over here is uh, us connecting up and now the thing has come alive. So let's play with the buttons first off. You can come here and if I press that button, this one, this one, this one, and this one. What you'll also notice is the ADC input because it's on an analog multiplexer kind of follows what the buttons push, um, but with a lot more noise. I don't have them tied into anything right now. I have to drive it to show. But I guess you just have to take my word for it. Um, come here and type random things in. And you see that it shows up there. It's up here where we see it maybe at the same time. So, got that. Shows up there. We change the slider here. See it get bright. I'll drag it down. See it get dim. Somewhere in between. Okay. And then lastly, these are four digital outs. So if I hit this one, see that LED comes on. And each of these is its own. Uh, digital output port. I didn't, uh, I don't have an LED hooked up because there's only one ground, so you have to take my word for that that those work also. Uh, this is written in Lab Windows C. It uses um, two threads, uh, well, three if you include the main program. One uh, runs in the background and constantly pulls uh, the Arduino for its status and the other uh, runs continuously and updates the different things on the screen uh, as they change. And then there's the main program that handles all the button presses and the GUI and everything else. On the Arduino, we have a, uh, what do I want to say? The program is basically a monitor program. It listens to commands the main loop is a monitor program that listens to commands coming down the USB, um, telling it what to do, and there's an interrupt, a time-driven interrupt running to sample the analog to digital converter um, about a hundred times a second, and that's all there is. So, codes available on my website and some other places. Bye.